back when dark rooms were a more common thing, there's something called a contact sheet, which is where you could take a whole sleeve of film photos, put it on a light sensitive piece of paper in the dark room, and then expose it for a little bit, and you'd get a little preview of all of your images right there before you print the ones that you want to print. Now what you can create is called a digital contact sheet, and it's a lot easier to do with black and white film than it is to do with color film. Here's how I make a digital contact sheet of my film, so again, I can preview all of my images in one go before doing individual scans. After I've developed all my photos and put them into sleeves, I can lay a sleeve onto a light box and take a photo of that. Now the settings I usually use are an aperture of f8 and ISO 100 sensitivity, and then the shutter speed totally depends on how exposed my negatives are. I tend to overexpose my negatives, so I have to use a slower shutter speed to get the right digital exposure. If I'm doing a batch of contact sheets, I'll set up my tripod upside down like this, level out my camera so that it's nice and even with the floor, and I connect it to my computer and I can just take photos that way. But if I'm just doing one or two, I can actually shoot it handheld as long as the shutter speed's not too slow. The reason why the camera is so far away from my film negatives here is because I'm using a 70 millimeter lens, which is a longer lens. And I use that because I'm using the Sigma 70 millimeter macro art lens, which is a, an insanely sharp lens. And it's basically a perfect use case scenario to use it to uh, digitize film negatives. Once I've got my images, I can take them into Photoshop, desaturate it so it's actually purely black and white, and then invert it. And then from an inversion, I go to the levels tool and I adjust the black and white points. And if I hold alt while I'm adjusting those, I can actually see which parts of the images become pure black and pure white so that I know where a good starting point is. And then I adjust the gray point to wherever I feel like is a good, you know, average for all the photos. Now sometimes you can get a really great contact sheet from just that, but usually for me I have to go through and adjust each individual image, which is a really quick process actually. I use the marquee tool in Photoshop to select one image at a time and then I add a levels layer and doing that automatically masks it out so it's just adjusting that image. And then I adjust the, the black, white, and gray points again until that individual image looks pretty good. Now because this is a contact sheet, I do this really quickly and I totally eyeball it. I don't use the whole holding alt and, and adjusting the black point to make sure it's perfect and all of that. I just get it to a point where I'm like, that looks like a pretty decent image. And I leave it at that for all of the images. So I go through and do that for all 12 of my photos on this particular sleeve. And doing all of that gets me something like this, or this, or even this. It's really that simple. And because I'm using a 24 megapixel digital camera with a sharp aperture and everything, I actually get really high quality individual photos from each of these for sampling. I can zoom in pretty pretty close to get a good idea of what my final image is gonna look like. If this video was informational or helpful for you, I'd love for you to subscribe right here on YouTube. You can also follow along on TikTok and Instagram. Regardless, I appreciate you watching this video and I will see you in the next one.